Well, hello everybody, and happy Thursday. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com, and I'm way late tonight, I know. I tried earlier like five times, and it just, the internet wasn't working, so I called Cox, and hopefully it's going to work right now, so I wanted to um, try and get on here real quick before I go to bed and uh, do this video. So I'm doing the bay window card technique tonight, and it is really cool. So this is what it looks like from the top. And that's what it looks like from the front so it looks like a bay window and this one same thing that's the inside and then this is what it looks like when you put it together but then it folds flat so you can mail it but it is the coolest thing and one of my downline Beth she's the one who gave me a Christmas card like this and I thought it was so cute so I wanted to do one with the brand new paper that we've got so hopefully you guys didn't give up on me from the last video that went out so We'll see if anybody's watching. We've got a couple people. So hopefully some more people will come on. And hey, Susan. Hey, Pamela. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> All right. So hopefully we will get through this today. And um, see if I can get my camera going straight. I just fixed it a little bit. So hopefully we'll get it a little bit straighter. Um. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm tired. I tell you what, this has been a long day. <laughs> it wasn't too bad till all this internet stuff start, stopped working. And then I had a phone call with my daughter who just irritated me. But hopefully she's not watching. I don't think she does. I don't think she watches my channel too much. But she's uh, getting married this year. And she rescheduled her wedding like four times. So... October of this year, next year, is supposed to be the, the real wedding. And technically, they're already married because they got married right after they got engaged because COVID hit and they didn't want to wait. And then they rescheduled their wedding like, you know, four times. But she's just aggravating me right now. So <laughs> she called right before I started the first video. Hey, Lois. Hey, Kathy. All right. So we're going to try this again. Hopefully, it looks like the Internet's working okay. Um, and I talked to the guy, he assured me that everything's good and it's working. So we'll see. I'm going to start with this card. If we get through the whole thing, we'll see what time it is. And I might do the other one next time. I don't know. Cause these take a little while. I didn't do anything ahead of time because I wanted to show you how to cut it and how to score it and everything. So we're going to start from scratch and, um, it's not hard at all. Let me show you the paper. So this is the paper that we're using, and it comes in a pack of six by six, and it's got all of these beautiful um, watercolor drawings. I guess they are. I don't know if they're drawings or just like they splotched the watercolor in there to make it look like it's a drawing. But you have some beautiful papers in here, and it's called New Horizons is the name of the paper. It's in the New Spring Mini, and it's got four of each one. So there's 12 different designs and you get four sheets of each color or each pattern and then the back just has um, plain like watercolor look on there so some of these are really really beautiful like this one this is one I'm using actually and then this one is a really good one and then I actually have a card with this one but I didn't bring it in here oh that's the same one I just had a minute ago oh you know what I think okay never mind I got mine and then the last one, this kind of looks like uh, splotches on both sides. I don't know why that last one came out like that, but that's the name of it. New Horizons Designer Paper. It's in the Spring Mini, which is available to demonstrators right now and customers starting January 4th. So let me show you what you need for the first one. So you need a piece of four and a quarter by 11 old olive. We're going to score it at these places. Um, and then you need a piece of designer paper, this designer paper, and that it's going to be four and one eighth by six. Right now it's six by six because I haven't cut it for you yet. And then we're going to cut it at these places too. And then you need a piece of four and one eighth by three and a half white and then a scrap of white. So this is what you need for this card. So take a screenshot of that and then we'll go through it um, step by step. Hey, Robin. How you doing? <laughs> it will be better. <laughs> I know. 
<sighs> it's just frustrating. You know, I tried to help my daughter with the wedding, and right from the get-go, it was like anything I suggested, she did not want. So, finally, I pretty much just gave up, and I'm like, okay, well, her dad's paying for most of it. But I offered to pay for the photographer, and one of my friends is a really good photographer, and so she was going to do it. And then after we rescheduled like 18 times, you know, it kind of just, I, I kind of just kind of got to the point where I was like, okay, are we ever going to have the wedding or what? So I didn't say anything else about it. And then she said she had another photographer. These are the two stamp sets we're using, by the way. These are both new. This one goes with the paper and this one is another one that's in the uh, spring mini. So we're having both of these stamp sets and we're using just this one for the first card and then this one mainly for the second card. And then, oh, I wanted to show you a Christmas card I got. This one I got in the mail yesterday. And this is absolutely like one of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen. And it looks like it took five hours to make. And this one is from Robin Miller, who's one of the um, people that watches my channel. And I just thought it was so beautiful. It's all embossed and Wink of Stella. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. And the, it's got embossed back here. I think it is gorgeous. And she said she made 70 of these. I thought, oh my gosh, that would take forever. But I just wanted to show you that, Robin. That is the most awesome card ever. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of this. And we're going to do the scoring first and then the cutting. So let me get my scoring tool. And if you watch me, you know I always do mine upside down. I'm going to have to do it the right way tonight for the other piece. But um, for the scoring, you want to use your lighter blade, the gray one. And we're going to start at five and a half and score it. Let me get my measurements out here. What does it say? Score at five and a half. So there's five and a half. And I do mine upside. Whoops, almost cut it. So you're going to score it right here. This is not scoring because it's, oh yeah, it does a little bit. It's not very good because I don't have it flat, I think. All right, then we're going to go to five and one eighth, which would be right there. I don't feel like it's doing anything. I think it's because it's not flat. Yeah, that's because it's not flat. Um, and then we're going to go to three and five eighths, which is right after three and a half. And score that. And then one and seven eighths, which is right before two. Hopefully this is doing it. And then three eighths, which three eighths is too hard to get that way, so I'm going to turn it around the other way. So three eighths is right before a half. So right there. I don't know if that's score. I didn't score it very well because I'm not on a flat surface, but all right. So take your bone folder and give it a good score with that. So score it really good here. And then this one's going to go back this way. Kind of. Oops. I can't get it open now. <laughs> All right, so you're going to do this one back this way. And then this one is going to go this way. And this one's going to go that way. And then this one's going to go that way. I'm not going to do that really hard, but... All right, so what you've got here now is this. So you've got your bay window. Oh, you can tell I put lotion on now. I'm getting some, like, oil on this. All right, so that's our bay window right there. So this one right here is like your little crease and we're going to glue that down and I found I tried to use regular glue and that didn't work too well and I forgot to bring my, um, what do you call it, tear tape with me so I'm going to have to use the green glue so we'll see how it works but it didn't work that good before it kind of came apart. So I would use tear tape when you're doing this because I think it holds better but we're going to just give this a a press and let it hold but it just seems like it doesn't work as well as tear tape and I didn't bring it so we'll see I might have to go fix it after I do it hey Carol hey Robin um, I just showed your card did you see it were you watching when I was just showing your card it's beautiful all right so we'll let that sit there for a second while we do the paper all right so for the paper what you need to do is cut uh oh I'm spinning around. Hopefully I'm not losing the internet again. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
This is crazy. Are y'all still there? Um, I've lost the picture. But my phone is still going. That's weird. Okay, so the phone's still going, so I'm just going to assume that I'm still on here. My computer screen is gone now. All right, so we want this at 4 and 1 8 by 6. So we want it to be 6 inches across. So I've got to cut off um, 4 and... I've got to cut it down to 4 and 1 8 on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to take a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom and see if I can refresh my computer and see if you guys are still there. Oh, okay. Looks like you're still there. Did anybody, did I lose anybody? Oh, I don't know. You're here. Oh, yay. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is just trim a little bit of this off, like right here, and then see how much else I need to go. So I'm going to put that like right here and cut. So that gives me like the sky up here and then I'm gonna turn it around and I want it at four and one eighth, which is right there. And I'm gonna cut that. All right, so now we've got it the right um, height and now we wanna cut these into pieces. So I need to cut it at these measurements and I did it upside down because I want it to cut it at four and five eighths and then I have to do it the other way though or else it's going to be backwards. So I'm going to do it upside down. If you're doing the cutter the right way, it'll be the other way. But you want it at four and five eighths first, which is, let me see, four and five eighths here. I know my fractions. <laughs> All right, so that's the first cut. And then four and three eighths, so we're moving it back to the four and three eighths is right there. So that gives us this little teeny piece. Then we're gonna do three inches, which is right here, and one and three eighths. So one and three eighths is right before one and a half. And there we go. All right, so now we've got all of our pieces. They're upside down, but when I turn them around, it's gonna be the right way. All right, so here's all of our pieces. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. All right, so now, when I put them down here, we should have a little puzzle. So this one's gonna go inside, that one's gonna go there, there. Wait a minute, I got them backwards. The fat one goes in the middle. So something's backwards, this one and this one. So they all are one and three eighths, except for the middle one is one and five eighths. All right, so there we go. And then that one goes on that one. This one goes on the inside. All right, and then we also have our piece of white, which we're gonna decorate. So for this one, I didn't stamp anything on the front. I just put it all together. So we're gonna glue these down. Hey, Diane. So just glue all these down on the front. And I had something to tell you guys today. Now I can't remember what it was. I got so I was like in such a good mood until I talked to my daughter and she just really irked me to no end because now she's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? Because, you know, I had the photographer all picked out and everything and then she said, well, I found another photographer because I want somebody who has two people and she came recommended by one of her friends and I said, okay, well, that's a lot more expensive than it was going to be. And I was going to pay for it, but when she picked out somebody way more expensive, I'm like, I'm not paying that much. So, anyway, last I heard, she was using this girl. And I was just going to give her the money that I would have paid my friend. And uh, so she texts me tonight, and she's like, um, I just talked to my friend, my friend, and she said she can't do it. And I was like, uh, you said you weren't going to use her because you had already found somebody else. And she goes, well, you said it was too expensive, so I never booked her. <laughs> and I said, just because I said she was too expensive doesn't mean that you shouldn't have booked her. I said, I just said she was expensive. So anyway, she never booked that girl. So she was just assuming that my friend was still going to do it. And I'm like, mm -mm. when you said you didn't want her anymore, she wasn't going to do it. So, oh, I don't put glue on this. This one gets um, dimensionals. I'm losing my train of thought. 
So now she's really mad at me, and I'm like, I don't think it's my fault because she told me that. So, all right, so we want it to go here, but we want it to be raised up, and then this is going to go under it. So we don't want to put any dimensionals right there. You want to put them like this half over. So when you flip it over, it's really this half. So we're going to put the dimensionals over here, and you can put them up to like the middle, but we have to have enough room for that to um, slide under this part. So I'm just going to kind of put them back and forth. So I'm just mad at her because I feel like that was her responsibility. She said she didn't want to use the person I picked, so I st I'm staying out of it. And I just don't, I don't understand it. Every single thing I've told her to do for this wedding, she has done the opposite. And now I'm just irritated. Because I could have taken care of it and it would have been fine. But lesson learned. She knows now. All right, so there you go. And then that's just going to slide right under there. So that's the front part. And for some reason, that's a little bit long. Okay. All right, so now we need to do the inside part. So this part right here, the four and one eighth by three and a half, what I did was I stamped this grassy stuff at the bottom and the birds at the top. So we're going to do the grass here. This is the right grass. And I'm doing that in old olive. And then I'm going to do the birds in, I think, soft suede was the color I used. So I'm just going to stamp the grass down at the bottom. You guys still with me? Hopefully we didn't uh, lose anybody there. You could just leave that grass just like that if you want to. I kind of put another one over here a little bit lighter and then kind of did it like that. Oh, I got my paper dirty. All right, so that's the grass. And then we're going to go with the birds at the top. And for some reason, my birds keep making a mark above one of them. And I always trim my stamps a lot more than they're trimmed when you get them. So that, oh no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do that over again. All right, so let's do the birds first. So we'll do them like right here. And hopefully I don't get that little line. All right, so there's the birds. Let me get my grass back out and do that again. is not my day. I'm telling you, I should have just gone to bed. <laughs> uh, so I'm supposed to go pick up my mother in the morning, but she's not feeling very good. So I don't know what we're going to do. She's supposed to call me in the morning and let me know how she feels. She doesn't have COVID or anything. She just doesn't feel good, but it's more of a stomach thing. All right, so we're going to put this inside. But I hope she feels better because I don't want her to spend Christmas by herself. And then, of course, I would be by myself. So hopefully she'll feel better. All right, so we're just going to put this inside right here. And we got to do the words on the front. So it just goes back together like that. For some reason, this seems like it's a little teeny bit longer than it's supposed to be, but... I don't know why. All right, so for the words, what I did was relax. And I did that in, let me see, early espresso. So let me get the early espresso and the words. And I've got a little scrap of white somewhere. There we go. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Scrap of white. All right, so we're just going to stamp the words on here and punch them out. And I have a punch trick for you. I think I have lost comments. Hold on. Or else nobody's commented in the last few minutes. All right, so we want to do relax and enjoy your day. And I've got this punch right here, and I'm going to show you this trick that you can do with a lot of different punches. So you just put it in there, and I don't want this whole big thing because it would be way too much white. So I want to make it smaller. So I'm going to center it like right here, and then I'm going to punch the bottom out too. So we're just going to do that right there. And then I'm going to make a little handle. So I'm going to put some little tape and make a little handle right here. And then we're just going to hold it with that. 
put it back in the punch. And now we just want to center the bottom part. So you have to line up those two sides. So line them up right on the edge and put this exactly where you want it. So that's pretty good. So there you go. So now we've got, when we take our little handle off, we've got this punch, which is like a miniature version of this punch. So this is the Label Me Lovely punch. So now we got just that punched out of it by going up there and down there. So it made it a lot smaller. So that's a little trick you can do with almost any punch. And then we want to sponge this with a little bit of green. So this is Old Olive. I probably need to get a little bit more on my sponge. Let me get a little bit more. Hold on. I guess I can mess up my paper now that I've already got mess on here. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna sponge around the edge. Did you guys know about this trick with the punch? I think that's pretty cool. I saw it a few months back and I was like, oh, I gotta try that and I kept forgetting about it. All right, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. So let me get a couple more. Put them on here. And you don't want them too close to the edge because you only have this much room and the punch is a little bit wider than the paper. So then we're going to put that on here, like right in the middle. And hopefully that's even. And there you go. So there's our card with the bay window. So it looks like that from the top. And a little bit crooked. There we go. And then this from the front. So I think that is the coolest thing. I just love that scene. So this was the first one. And that's the second one. See this one, it seemed like the edges match better here. It's almost like just a sliver too long on this edge. I don't know why, but I cut, probably cut it a little crooked. What do you think of that card? I'm not getting comments, so I'm worried like the internet's not working. <laughs> you guys talk to me. <laughs> All right. 